Hi there, namaste. I hope you're okay today. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. It's beautiful here today. So I've come outside and I was really inspired today with the sunshine to really think about gratitude and everything that we can be grateful for. Practicing gratitude regularly is a really healing uh, process. It really lifts us out of um, low mood, depression, and it lifts us out of any feeling of being a victim, of things not being fair, um, which we can often feel like in life when things go wrong. But when we think of gratitude, we can turn any situation into something to feel grateful for. So even a bad situation, a nasty incident, a horrible uh, hurt from another person can teach us so much. It can help us to evolve, it can help us to learn and when those uh, situations or when those people pass through our lives we can then be so grateful for the peace that we find after that drama has gone. So it's really important when we think of gratitude, not just to think of all the wonderful things like the beautiful sunshine, the gorgeous nature, the wonderful place I'm blessed with to practice today, but also um, some of the not so nice situations to be grateful for the people who come into our lives to teach us. And so I would love it if you would just sit with me for a few minutes, just close your eyes, turn your palms up on your hands, lift tall, roll your shoulders back and down and just count on your fingers and maybe on your toes as well if you're feeling that way today. Ten things that you're really grateful for and perhaps if it's toes then it would go up to 20 things that you're grateful for. think of these things that you're grateful for. Don't just say words but feel that gratitude in your heart. Feel how that expresses and manifests for you in your heart. That gratitude. How it softens. How it cultivates an awareness of the heart space, of compassion. Perhaps some forgiveness. And kindness. And just be grateful for those past and present who have taught us invaluable lessons and helped us to grow out of ego through perhaps challenging us and pushing us out of our comfort zones in some way. When you thought of your, when you counted on your fingers and maybe your toes too, bring your hands together at your heart. And take a few really joyful, grateful breaths. Gratitude to be alive today. Gratitude to be well, to have our yoga practice and to enjoy this sacred space that we create wherever we are. And I'd like to share my gratitude with you for allowing me to share my yoga teachings and guidance with you. Good, so blink your eyes open. We're gonna move through quite a short flow that's just all about releasing and surrendering and going with the flow. So feel that you can do that as you move with me, as you inhale, lift your arms and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift your arms and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, flow over to the right side, bringing the left arm in line with the ear. Turn the head, look up. Inhale, lift. Exhale to your left. Right arm comes over. Inhale. Bring the palms together and exhale. Bring the hands to your forehead. Gratitude for 
our spiritual connection through the third eye, through Ajna Chakra and down to the heart. Gratitude for our heart, whatever song it's singing today, whether it's melancholic or whether it's joyful and melodic, just enjoying your heart. And then come round onto all fours. Take a few little cat cows. Inhale, look up, tailbone high. Exhale, tuck under. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up, tuck the toes. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, exhale, swing it through, lower your left knee down, one hand at a time comes up onto your thigh, and then just have a little bounce here, draw the belly in, keep the gaze point fixed, straight ahead, bouncing, stretching out the thighs, the hamstrings, sink into that, and inhale, lift the arms, exhale, bring the hands down, and go back to a down dog if you're a beginner or inhale swing your right leg high if you're a little bit more able to hold that right leg up into the air and then lower inhale lift the left leg high exhale swing it through lower the right knee one hand at a time comes up onto your left knee or thigh and have a little bounce find your breath shoulders back and down Gaze point fixed, belly drawn in, sink low and then inhale, lift your arms, exhale, bring your hands down and again either back to a down dog or swing your left leg high and exhale, bring it down, deep breath in, exhale, forward to plank, lower the knees if you need to here, if you're lowering your knees, lift your feet so you're in a little half plank. Still taking the weight into the arms. Deep breath. And exhale, lower to the mat. Elbows in, shoulders down. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. And then tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Bend the knees. Look forward, take a jump or step to the front of the mat, looking up. Hands can be on the shins or fingertips on the floor. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms, bring the palms together. And exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Take a few deep breaths. Ground and anchor into your feet. Gratitude for the earth still being there under our feet day in, day out. The support, the nurturing, nourishing energy that we feel from Gaia, from Mother Earth. And we'll begin to flow, inhaling to lift, exhaling to fold, inhaling, look up halfway, exhaling, right foot goes back, lower the knee, inhale, sweep your arms up, and as you exhale, we're going to reach forward, skim the hands along the mat, take them all the way back behind as you look to your right knee if possible, inhale, come up. And exhale, trouble with practicing outside, it can be a bit wobbly. <laughs> inhale. And exhale, skimming back. Inhale, coming up. Twice more, exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, reach forward. Hold it there, deep breath in. And exhale, hands come all the way down to the mat. Either back to a three-legged or a, just a, a regular down dog. Inhale, take the left leg high if you can. If possible, keep it high as you exhale forward to plank or lower to your knees, come all the way to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg goes high, exhale, swing it through. Remember, if the foot doesn't come through between the hands, yank it and pull it. You could lower your left knee down now if you want to go more gently. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, sink nice and deep. Feel really solid 
squeeze the inner thighs together, draw the belly in, shoulders back and down. Inhale, exhale, skimming the floor, take the hands all the way back. Inhale, come up. Slowly now, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Twice more. Last one. And then exhale, reach forwards, reaching up. If you're inside, reach to where your wall and your ceiling meet. If you're outside, just reach towards the sky. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, step to the front of your mat, looking up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms, bring the palms together. And exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Close your eyes, deep breath in. Long exhale. Left side, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, looking up. Left foot, exhale it back, lower the knee. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky or the ceiling and then exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale, come up. Ground into your right foot, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, twice more, last one, and then exhale, reaching forwards about 45 degrees from that thigh, from that right thigh. Still, if you can just let the shoulders be soft, draw them away from the ears, but not too much. Don't force that. Deep breath in. Exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Back to a dog, down dog, or a three-legged. Inhale, swing the right leg high if you want to join me with the right leg up to the sky. And then exhale forward to plank, lower to the knees if you need. Lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, bring it through. Lower the right knee down if you need to here. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, come up into your high lunge. <laughs> wobbly again. Got a right wobbly bit under that left foot. <laughs> exhale, sink. It's worth it though for how beautiful it is here. I'm going to take a deep breath in and then exhale. Sink it back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sinking it back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale for four. Inhale. And exhale for five. Inhale, and then exhale, reach 45 degrees away from that left thigh, relax your shoulders down a little, don't force them down, but just draw them a little bit away from your ears, the whole belly draws in, and then exhale, hands to the mat, inhale, step to the front of your mat, looking up, exhale, fold, again, inhale, lengthen up, Hands could be on the shins here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your arms, bring your palms together. And exhale, hands come down to the heart. Deep. Good. Now bring your hands to your sides. We're gonna choose a gaze point, eye level, and then we're going to move it down. So you could start down if you wanted to, or you could move your gaze. If you're not so good with balancing, maybe keep it low to begin, okay? So we're going to inhale, lift the left knee, take the arms out wide. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, 
take that left leg back and tip forwards into a warrior three. Inhale, bend your right knee deep, set your left foot back, warrior one. Exhale, open it out to warrior two, arms are wide, look to your right middle finger. Turn your right palm up, inhale, go back to peaceful warrior. Exhale, forearm to knee, left arm glides over in line with your ear, lovely dancing warrior. Inhale, come up, warrior two. And then windmill your hands, step back. We're going to step to the front of the mat, looking up. Exhale down into a fold. Again, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold. From there, inhale, come all the way up. Look to your thumbs. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Close your eyes. Deep breath. Relax the body. Let go of tension around your shoulders and hips. Release the jaw and take the gaze point. I'm going to try and find a less wobbly place for my left foot. <laughs> so we're going to take the gaze point down to the floor or you can keep it up to eye level and then reduce. It's up to you. As you inhale, lift your right leg, take your arms wide and then a little bit of softness in the knee, knee can help here to transition back on the exhale to warrior three. Take a deep breath in. And then bend your left knee back, step to warrior one, lift the arms in line with the ear. Exhale, warrior two. Turn the left palm up. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, forearm to knee, side angle. Inhale, come up again, warrior two. And then we'll windmill. Right hand meets left, both hands to the mat, step to plank. Lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hold. Ground into the tops of thighs, tops of feet. You don't have to be as high as this if you need to be a bit lower. Just keep your elbows in and your shoulders down here. Feel yourself sinking, opening, arching in the spine. Relax the sit bones. One more deep breath in, lift the head a little. Exhale, sink back to child. Forehead comes to the mat. Good. From there, we'll draw the hands back either side of the ears. Push down into them. Inhale, come up onto your knees. Glide up. Lift the hips up away from the heels. Bring the hands together. And exhale, sit back into Varasana, into Hero's Pose. Bring your hands onto your thighs. And just take a moment again to come back to that cultivating of gratitude. The ancient yogis teach us and encourage us that the more we are grateful for, the more we offer up our gratitude for all that we have, even the small tiny things, the more we're open to receiving from the universe. And again, it is a way to turn any situation into something to be grateful for. Every moment of our lives we can be grateful, however hard sometimes the process is, the journey. And remembering when we're in pain and suffering, when we're finding it hard to be grateful, that at the root of the universe there is a cycle of destruction and creation. Birth, life, death, rebirth. And it's often when we lose that connection to that cycle of destruction and creation that we, we panic. And of course things can be hard and we don't want to bypass those feelings of anger or grief. But we also must remember that we don't need to be a victim to our suffering. We can feel it, but we can know that this is just how life works, how the universe works. And in time, there will come an acceptance of all that is. So you're going to swing that round now, ready for a twist. So you're going to swing your feet to the left so that your right foot's at center and your left foot's gone out to the side. If this is too much for you in any way, just come to cross-legged. It's the same. It'll do the same. Inhale, lift the arms up. 
Now we've got a couple of modifications for this twist. So we'll exhale, twist to the right to begin. Just simply right hand behind, left hand on the knee. And if you're cross-legged, that would be the same. For those of you that want to go a little bit deeper here, you're going to bring this right foot up onto your left thigh. And then this right hand's going to come round. It might not reach the foot, but you could hug it into your waistband or grab your t-shirt. Perhaps you'll find the foot. Turn the head to breathe. Perhaps closing the eyes. And inhale, come back to center, lifting up your arms. If you took your foot up onto the thigh, just drop it down as you lower your hands and extend your left leg out in front. Right foot stays where it is. We're going to inhale, lift again, and exhale, fold over that left leg into Jani Shirasana, gazing to the big toe, chin towards the shin. Deep breath. And then inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. And we'll go the other way. So we'll swing the legs for the twist. Left foot comes to centre, right foot's gone out to the side. Big toe side of the right foot. Just wiggle and adjust on your sit bones. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, twist to the left. And again, you can hold it here if you were cross-legged. Just take the same left hand behind, right hand on the knee, or if you want to go into that deeper stretch, come up, bring the left foot onto the thigh and bring the left hand round, either just grabbing onto your waistband or maybe finding the foot. Close the eyes now and breathe. From there we'll release and inhale, lift the arms up. Let that left foot drop as you bring your hands down if you took it onto your thigh and then extend your right leg out in front of you. Keep your left foot in for the thigh, inhale. Gazing to the big toe, chin to shin, exhale. Jani Shirasana. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring your hands down and come down onto your back. Make sure you've got a little bit of space behind you. Heels into sit bone, toes slightly turned in, hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Go down slow. You'll get to a point where you have to drop all the way down. Bring the hands to the sides. We're going to go into a flowing back bend. We're going to inhale, ground into the feet, lift the vertebra, chin into chest as you lift your arms up and all the way back. Make sure your knees stay hip width apart. Exhale, fold it back down. So lowering, inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. Inhaling. Back to chin. Exhale. And take that twice more in your own rhythm. of both knees we're going to drop over to the right into a twist so let that left knee drop down you might want to bring the right hand onto it turn the head to the left just see how that feels for you adjust if you need to and then reach the left right arm out again sorry inhale come back to center lower your left foot bring your right knee in
slightly there by the chest as you take your arms out wide and your tailor to the left, turn the head to the right. And then the left hand can come onto the right knee, so you just want to accentuate that a little bit more into a twist. onto your back, have both knees in, nice and tight, and then holding on to each new cat, we'll just circle the knees around a little bit one way, nice massage over the lower back, back the other way, and then any other movements you feel would be beneficial to you before you come to relax, please take them, and then come to lie with your feet slightly apart, hands by the side, palms up, just to wriggle and get yourself comfortable. <sighs> Sink down through your shoulder blades, through your hips, keep your shin slightly tucked in. And we're just gonna let go here. And I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you to stay here for as long as you can now. Focusing on your breath and coming back to those gratitude connections where you're sort of joining all the dots of gratitude in your life together like a thread that's running through every part of your life, scan through, it could be endless list of things to be grateful for, not only now but going right back into the past people, places, things, experiences, good and bad, adventures, difficult times that you pull through, and wonderful times that you'll always cherish. That infinite, eternal cycle of birth, life, death, rebirth, destruction and creation that is all divine. Just allow your body to surrender. And allow yourself to be bathed in the joy and the empowering strength 